think together. Let's read some of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 to better explain what I'm talking about here. Look at verse number 12. The Bible reads, For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been made all and have all, been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, Because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, Because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body, as it hath pleased him. God's the one building the body. And it's using like a physical body as an analogy for a spiritual body. And it's saying, look, you've got, you've got a nose, you've got eyes, you've got ears, you've got hands. You've got all these different functions that are being performed in the body. And just because one member says, you know, if the hand says, well, I'm not an eye. As if then, well, I guess I'm just not part of the body then. And it's, you know, the Bible's saying that's ridiculous. The whole, all of the different members make up one body. And what this is saying is that God is setting members in the church as he sees fit. God has a job for everybody in church. Every member, every individual, every family, everybody that's here, you've got a job to do. You have something, a, a place to fit in that God wants you to fit in. And one other point here, it brings up, you know, Jews and Gentiles in God's church. In Christ, there is neither Greek nor Jew. There is neither circumcision or uncircumcision. There is neither male nor female. There is neither black or white or yellow or brown or anything like that. In God's church, we're all spiritual children. And this is one family. We're brothers and sisters. And we need to work together as one family. And, and you know what? Um, don't allow the, the, any worldly influences to allow you to think that there is some difference and cause any problems between you working together with other members of the body because of something so stupid as, as the color of somebody's skin. Which literally means nothing at all.